Welcome to Target Tip of the Day. With the Measure Selector feature in Target, you can achieve two things. As a designer, you can save yourself a lot of time just creating one dashboard instead of creating a lot of similar dashboards. And to the end users, you can provide them with maximum flexibility using the Measure Selector. Let's get started. Here we have a dashboard looking at revenue. It's pretty clear that it's looking at revenue. It's in the title of every uh, chart showing revenue in geography, product groups, uh, by salespeople and through time. And also if you hover a certain country, you can see that uh, revenue is in the mouse over title and also on, on the other graphs as well. So what would be nice was to, instead of creating an extra dashboard about profit, a third dashboard about units sold, etc. What if we could use the same dashboard to show uh, three different measures or more? So we would need a measure selector. And uh, to get that implemented, we go to the view uh, ribbon here and turn on the criteria bar. And then we simply right click and ask for a measure selector. So the measure selector identifies that we're talking about revenue in this particular uh, dashboard. And we're now able to switch and say, OK, I'd like it to be about cost instead. And as you can see, all my titles changed, even my mouse over uh, text changed. And why is that? Let's quickly have a look at one of those charts. Let's look at the donut here. We go to properties. So concerning the title, I've just picked this one saying measures. That means it will reflect whatever measure has been selected with the measure selector. Concerning the mouse over, there's a little more work to it. But if you look at the editor here for mouse over, you're able to select something called measure caption, row member, meaning uh, the uh, uh, product group in this case in, in question, and finally measure value, meaning the value of the current measure. So by using those from the drop down, you get this flexibility that everything actually changes when you change uh, the measure in the measure selector. But looking at this drop down, it's probably not ideal. Uh, I don't want people to be able to pick from all those different measures. Let's go back to revenue just for a second. And then let's configure this measure selector by right clicking it and going to properties. So now we're going to say, OK, I would allow people to switch between revenue uh, profit, number of sales, and units sold. And that's it. And instead of the leading text measure, I'll just uh, put in here, select your measure colon as a title for this. And then let's uh, just click OK. So now we've uh, configured our measure selector. You're now just able to uh, look at those four different measures. This actually goes through all the way to the web client and to the mobile client. And I'd like to show you what it actually looks like from the web client's uh, perspective. So here I've opened up the web client showing the same dashboard. And up here we have the, our measure selector. And the only thing you can choose between are those four that we set up in the Windows client. So now you can just select profit and it will go through everything, through the titles, through the mouse over, all the way through. That concludes today's tip about using the measure selector. Measure selector. Hope you got inspired. Also remember you can sign up for the Target YouTube channel and don't miss out on any of those tips of the day. Stay in touch and stay safe.